guys uh, welcome to tech design in the last video we are left with uh, this much so let us start uh, continuing this model so let me go into start doing this feature now I'm just going to the same sketcher plane now let us extrude this okay what I will do is sorry guys there may be uh, some uh, disturbances some construction is going on here so I'll just project this here is either you can select a each and every curve or else we have one more option you can directly select this face so whatever the edge face edge curves will be there uh, they are all will be you know uh, projected so you can just click OK now as you can see here uh, these are the curves I'm just going to hide this now we have to you know you can see here there are all are the, almost all of them all of them are uh, splines so, so what I will do I need to make them a curves in many of the companies splines are not acceptable so we have to convert each and every spline into arcs and lines Sorry for the disturbance guys. If you like my videos definitely make a comment on my videos so that So I'm just left with only this one curve. So let us create this curve. Now I have to finish uh, uh, delete all the splines. So let us go through splines and delete them. We don't have a filter here to select all the splines. As you can see here, there is no spline uh, filter. So we need to you know manually select each and every spline and delete it. If it is a smaller sketch it is okay we can definitely delete each and every spline so otherwise it will be you know difficult there is one more way where how you can uh, avoid this deleting I'll just tell you it in the next uh, video you should watch each and every uh, video of mine so that you can uh, have uh, multiple options and how we can make a model you cannot always uh, use the same approach in all the models in order to complete it we should have a multiple you know options so that if one of uh, one approach is not working for you you can just uh, definitely go for another one what I'll do is uh, I'll just extrude this now and here is our extrude just extrude a little bit more than what uh, we have here so that we can remove the extra portion and click ok now as you can see here this is done now what we can do is we have to go out in the top level top uh, face and uh, make this So let us go to X project now and here is my one let me hide this uh, everything so that we can 
it will be visible easily as you can see here here I'm just going to select one and here is another uh, edge okay, instead of this I'm just going to select this in the same way I'm just going to do it on the other side as well and this is the okay we have a four curves here let us cons uh, change it to lines and arcs instead of splines so here is one spline and this is another spline so if possible try to create an uh, circle okay I think circle is not going to work out here let us create an arc this is my first point this is my second point this is my third point now let us extrude it okay In the same way I have to do it on the other side as well so go to arc and create an arc for this now extend this since these are not uh, you know aligned you can just make a constant coincide between each other so point on a curve let us create this point on this curve and this point on this curve In the same way I have to do it on this sorry this point on this curve this point on this curve click ok now let us trim the extra portions these are our extra portions now I have to draw a line here let us create this line a little bit down and in the same way I have to do it on the other side as well now extend these lines we can do it on the one side and we can mirror it so the I'll just delete this portion okay now let us delete this as well and here one spline is there so, so just delete it and finish the sketch now go to its extrude and select this curve the input section is not a valid okay now let us see as you can see here I think uh, there is a one line here so let us delete it okay delete now let us finish and go into feature again the input section is not valid let me check what happened here let me create a fillet between these two so that I think it will work better mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think there will be some go to single curve and stop at intersection So instead of this what we can have is we can just make a line here like this and this extrude this and now what I'll do is I'll just go to make corner and create a corner here now we can delete this it's not required now finish the sketch and go to extrude select the feature curve like this now we'll go to symmetric value of this and we have to 
subtract this from our uh, previous body click ok now if you show this as you can see here here it is trimmed in the same way I have to do it on the other side as well so this I have to mirror it so you need to go to mirror feature and here is the mirror feature so I'm just mirror featuring this with the this plane and click OK so as you can see here it is the value is more so I'll just go into this sketch and increase this a little bit Oops. Yeah, just increase this a little bit so that it will be trimmed yeah as you can see here let us show our body now now all the feature is done only we are left with this and then some hole here so what I will do is I will just uh, so now we are left with this uh, center you know cylinder so for that what we have to do is we will just create a point over here on this point as you can see here this point is uh, created here now what we have to do is suppose if this point for example just delete this a point and refresh this and now select this point and click ok uh, if you do create a point like this so this point will be having associated with this clamp arm so if it is highlighting it means that it is having a associativity so whatever the feature that you will be created under here uh, it will be having a feature you know associative with this body so in order to create a point without any having any associativity what we have to do is we have to create a point and then we have to delete this and just go to point again and these are the uh, you know uh, x coordinate y and z coordinate values so keep it as it is and click ok now if you highlight this point it will not be having any associativity with this body so now you can make any feature on this point and uh, create a body so i'm just going to have this point as a coordinate axis so now we have an three axis here so let us go to sketch on this plane and now we have to make a you know intersection curve so select these curves so that it will create an intersection point click ok selected faces are not connected ok this case what we have to do is uh, to project this lines we can create one side and we can make another side of mirror of fist there are many ways in order to you know create these uh, whatever the things I'm just doing now I'll just definitely come back with a new solution for this and now we can create an uh, now let us extrude this and trim this now let us extrude this and this until this and now we have this so now let us draw on a line here ok now let us trim all the extra portions that are not needed ok 
okay now we have this profile outer profile so let us uh, revolve that you can select this revolve and my point will be here oops the axis will be this and my point will be this point click ok now as you can see here uh, this is done click ok now now I have to mirror the same component on the same feature on the other side so let us go to mirror feature mirror feature so select this revolve and it should be mirrored along this and click ok now as you can see here complete model is uh, you know uh, done we have to ex uh, you know make a unite of all the things and then remove the extra material so let us go to let me hide this first okay now let us unite all these features click okay now everything is under a single body now we have to make this whole feature here so go to sketch project this I think the project curve is enough because it is not a spline so finish the sketch and go to extrude and select this sketch now it is subtract from uh, this body and it should be symmetric value click ok now this is done now we are only left with uh, this edge blends so let us check what are the edge blends here this is 1 mm this is 2 mm this is also 2 mm ok that's all we have so here it is 1 and here it is 2 make it show and hide this now what I have to do is I just go to edge planes we have 1 mm over here and 1 mm on the other side as well click ok now we have a 2 mm so this side it is 2 and this side it is 2 again let us click okay now I'll just hide everything except uh, solid bodies now as you can see here this model is completed uh, it is completely you know matching with the parent body please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as share my videos guys thank you keep watching my videos